Martin in the end, a 6-0 victory over Albion Rovers. It looks pretty convincing. Did it feel as comfortable in the park? Uh, in the end, probably, but that's down to a first-half performance. I mean, again, we, we come out flying, we score an early goal, and that always helps against sort of lower league teams. They come here, want to turn those over and sit in and try and make it difficult, but as I say, it helps getting the early goal, and that sort of settles the nerves and makes, makes it sort of... A more comfortable night. Is that the message from the management team heading into the game? Get a fast start, get that early goal, open them up, and, and that's certainly what you did. Did you again feel that that kind of just allowed the more creative players to go and make things happen and more really kind of confident to go? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we wanted a similar start to Sunday in this competition, especially. You, you don't want to slip up. We've done the hard work Saturday, uh, Sunday, sorry, and just wanted to keep the moment, momentum going. Uh, for tonight and then for again Saturday. They had a chance at 2-0, they went 1-1, big save by Ryan Scully and then we go up the other end a couple of minutes later and make it 3-0. It just shows the differences, we were clinical and Ryan Scully has really kept us in the game at times to, to keep the, the clean sheet and as a defender that's just as important as scoring a goal, I presume. Yeah, definitely, that's what we all want as a sort of back for Scully and as a team ultimately we want clean sheets because it gives you a his chance to go and win the game so it was a massive save for him and again it shows the quality that we go up the park and, and score a goal it sort of kills the game So talk us through your goal it was uh, unfamiliar for us in the commentary box to, to see you standing in front of goals to tap at home it seemed an easy enough finish were you were you uh, seeing the headlines when when the ball came to you? I did as soon as I seen it come across I was like no no can't miss for here but I, I don't know what I was doing that far out of the pitch so I'm just sort of happy to score so they don't come around too often is that, I was going to ask that in terms of that's a part of your game, you're quite attack minded, so do you feel that assists and goals is something that you're looking to bring to this Dunfermline team? Yeah, definitely. As I said, I want to get forward and I want to contribute, so if I could chip in with odd goal or assist them, I'll be delighted with that to help the team. You were linking up well with Ryan Dow before he went off, it seems like you've formed a good partnership already. Yeah, definitely. I love playing with Dow, he's a very good player, I think you've, you've seen his quality already. and makes my, my job easier just getting the ball and giving it to him and letting him do his thing because he's a very good player. In the second half, changes were made from both teams. The game maybe never flowed as much for us, but still very um, you know, convincing in our play. Um, only the one goal, but were you still quite happy with the way things went in the second 45? Yeah, but the message at half-time was keep clean sheet, try and keep the standards, but it is difficult when the game's broken up and, and there is subs coming on, but the ultimate goal was to keep that clean sheet. They had a couple of chances, but we've, we've done well to keep the clean sheet. Scully's again made a couple of really good saves. So. Edinburgh City on Saturday, um, and a tough away game. Um, is it something that um, you're obviously just going to have to try and prepare for over the next couple of days? Not, you know, It's a quick turnaround, but is that easier making it against them um, being a full-time side, obviously? Well, it is still tough. Three games in, in six days is tough for no matter what level you're playing at. So we're expecting a tough game. They've got a good squad and I think they uh, pulled something in close tonight. So I think it's going to be a really tough game. And in general terms, obviously two wins out of two. We talked the group. That's that's great for us. But is that about keeping our feet on the ground at the minute and just trying to you know, preserve that kind of winning momentum that we've got and not get too far ahead of ourselves. That's it. It's all about momentum. We want to carry on winning, create that spirit with the players and the fans of winning games. I think that's important to try and drive us on for the start of the season. We won four games out of four in the Betfred Cup last year before we started the league campaign and that, that allowed us to go and win our, our first league game. It gave us that momentum. So it's important that we, we continue on this good run heading into the league season. Yeah, definitely. As we say, we, we go into Saturday and we know it's going to be a tough game. We've done well Sunday and tonight, but it's all for nothing if we don't go and perform on Saturday. And a uh, nice home support this evening on a, a wet and windy night, so you'll be home for another similar support in Edinburgh on Saturday? Yeah, definitely. The fans have been different class since I've been here. They've come out in their numbers, so long may it continue. Thanks very much, Tom.